attorney. Hopefully it's for a good reason. But if you go there, you'll see a Gideon Bible that will be placed there. We only place the Bibles where we are given permission. If we're not given permission, we won't leave them, we won't leave them there. Testaments are placed in the, uh, passed out in public schools, the colleges, and the university. That's about 80% of our effort. And we uh, had a pass out uh, at Clarion University about a month ago, and it was close to 1,100 testaments that were passed out, which I thought that was really, which was really good. Uh, and as you pass them out, usually the kids will say, yes, thank you, or no thank you, no, I don't want one. One of the most politest declines I've ever heard, one of the guys was passing out a testament to one of the students, and he goes, no thank you, I'm driving. <laughs> so, <laughs> but anyway, uh, th that is the power that is there. It's the scriptures, and a lot of kids will take them uh, and share them with others. And the main thrust of our ministry is that Bible distribution and your donations through this gift card program can provide Bibles to the nursing homes, the hospitals, etc. The main and biggest thing that I want to stress is that we are here to ask for your help in prayer. For the Gideons themselves, as we share and distribute the gospel, to pray for the recipients that the soil of their heart is fertile and receptive to the good news. And if they are not receptive, at least be prayerful that they would take the scriptures and look at it later, or if nothing else, at least give it to someone else uh, that, that would be. God's word and, uh, does not return void. Whoever is to receive that scripture will receive it. And every scripture, testament, and Bible will reach out to those that are, that are intended. You're all familiar with the different cards. They have one for every occasion that's out there. The uh, pastor appreciation cards, thinking of you, et cetera, the popular uh, in memory cards. But I want to share with you where your money uh, goes when you make the donation. Now, the cards are free, and whenever you turn in a, uh, one of the cards in, in memory of or in honor of a specific occasion, I want to share with you Clarion County Camp, and you're part of Clarion County Camp. We're on the right side of the track, right? So, okay. So we're in Clarion County. But Clarion County, last year, fiscal year, there was over $48,770 that was given towards the scriptures and for the donation. Now these little testaments are $1.20 apiece. That allowed us to purchase 40,642 testaments. Now here in the United States, whenever one is passed out, generally stays with the person that's given, that it's given to and winds up on a shelf or in your pocket, in your book bag or wherever. But when we go to foreign distributions, and we're looking at Africa and the Middle East, and even especially in the Far East, that these are shared on the average with uh, six different people. And they'll either read the book itself, and by the way, in, in the front of the book, if you haven't noticed, there is helps in, in uh, decision sections and questions and so forth, but they will pass this around amongst their friends. Sometimes I've even heard that they'll read a, a chapter or a book, and they'll tear that out, and then they'll pass it and share it with someone else. But on the average, it reaches about six people. So that the 40,642 testaments that we were able to purchase, you as a, being a missionary, being a witness to 243,800 people, you're reaching out more than just one. You're reaching out to that many people. Now, the same amount, the $48,770, the Bibles are $5 a piece. That allows us to purchase 9,750 Bibles for the hotels and uh, the nursing homes and so forth. Each Bible has an average lifespan of six years, and over that six-year period, it will reach 2,300 people on the average. So that means over that lifespan of that Bible, that many Bibles you are being a witness to, you being, are being a missionary to 22,425,000 people. Just think of the outreach that you're able to do by supporting the program. I do want to say thank you for the opportunity to be here. A couple other things I want to mention to you. Uh, if you uh, are qualified to become a Gideon, you have to be a professional or a businessman in good standing with your church, you're welcome to, to join us. Um, if you're not interested uh, in becoming a Gideon, you can belong to uh, a counterpart called Friends of Gideon. And that allows you to uh, participate in some of the programs and, and getting Bibles and so forth to pass those out. There is what they call the Life Book Program. I don't have one with me, but they're a little book that has uh, testimonies and it has questions and answers that is given out to the youth uh, in a high school range, the teenage range. And it's developed and it was made to uh, 
promote discussion uh, amongst the kids, uh, and it's good for a site of the study program as well. Also, uh, for your techno dudes and dudettes out there that have smartphones, how many have smartphones? Everybody, I figured you guys would back there, okay. Uh, they have what they call the Bible app, but on the back of that uh, is a code that you can enter and you can carry the Bible around with you. I'm a tech tart, I don't have a smartphone, I don't want one, but uh, it is there for those of you that do. And what drove this home to me was when I was teaching Sunday school a few years back, one of the kids, or a couple of kids, instead of opening the Bibles, they were sitting there on their phone while I was teaching class, and I'm thinking, okay, they're playing solitaire or doing something else. And finally one day I said, Chris, I said, I see you're on your phone all the time when we're in class. I said, what does, uh, what's going on there? What are you doing? And he said, hey, I've got my Bible in here. So he, and he showed me and punched it out. And I thought that was kind of neat. Um, but I like the, the written part. <laughs> but uh, I just want to say thank you again uh, for allowing me to participate with you this morning. And if you have any questions or anything, uh, please feel free to ask. Thank you.
but I ground it up. Otherwise, I end up with two 30-minute flyers.